Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode of Advanced League Tips, a series where we take a look at each individual champion and break down their lesser known combos as well as animation cancels, input buffering, and item active combos that interact differently with their kit. Today we're back with a part 2 for Darius to get him updated with the Season 11 item interactives. Now, we are only doing applicable items, meaning that since Darius is a melee bruiser, we are going to be looking at Gore Drinker and Stridebreaker. I have experimented with Gale Force and Prowler's Claw. Those two items do not work out for him because Gale Force locks Darius out of his abilities mid-dash, and Prowler's Claw actually puts Darius too close to the enemy to animation, cancel, or input buffer with his Q to proc the heal. So we're going to be looking at Gore Drinker and Stride Breaker primarily and seeing how those interact with Darius's abilities. So taking a look at Gore Drinker first, um, Darius's E and his ultimate are not able to are not able to input buffer off of Gore Drinker, so we're going to be looking at different interactions with his E and his Q. So, first of all, with Darius's Q, as you know, you wind up, and if you hit it in this zone, you'll heal, deal extra damage, and apply a stack of his passive. Now, with Gore Drinker, um, during the wind-up of his Q, you can overlay the input. So, here we wind up Q, and we activate Gore Drinker at the same time. It does not cancel the wind-up, and it allows it to go through while we get two instances of damage off as well as the passive and the heal. So this is advantageous to use because when you are next to a couple of champions or a champion you're fighting top lane, you can get two heals off as well as two instances of damage. However, because Gore Drinker is not an auto attack reset, it will only apply one stack of his passive. Now when it comes to... Um, the W combo. In the previous video we covered, we do have an animation cancel with his WQ. So here's the standard combo in real time. So WQ. And as we covered in the previous video, this is the animation cancel. So when these bleed stacks go away, you're going to see that three, three bleed stacks will actually be applied, but only two animations follow through. So auto WQ animation. And let's do that one more time just to give it better context. So he So you see that when Darius does the animation cancel properly, um, he doesn't spin around like he does there. And so W follow through with the animation. So the auto attack still goes off and the Q still winds up and follows through. So unfortunately you can't input buffer W over Gore Drinker. They fire at two separate instances. But what you can do is follow through with the animation cancel, and while his Q is winding up, you can still follow through with the Gore Drinker. So at so there I inputted Gore Drinker too early. Um, I have to wait for the windup to go through. So here, <clears throat> W, Q, animation cancel, and then while the windup on the Q was going through, I allo it allowed for the Gore Drinker to buffer, so let's look at that one more time. And we got our three instances of damage off there. Now, switching over to Stride Breaker. Stride Breaker is a little bit different because even though it still has a similar input time as Gore Drinker does, um, Gore Drinker doesn't provide a dash and a slow that Stride Breaker does. So, they do interact in a very similar way. So, with Stride Breaker, you have the the dash and the slow, obviously. But with Darius, you can wind up the Q, use the dash to get into range, and um, that will apply the slow as well as the bleed stack from the Q. So looking at that again, wind up the Q, and then during that wind up, we want to activate uh, Stride Breaker. Q Stride Breaker doesn't cancel the Q animation, so it allows it to follow through and we get the dash and the bleed stack off. Now, with his WQ combo yet again, it's the same idea during the animation of his W. You can't activate Stride Breaker, so it goes through as a separate input. However, if we do the animation cancel like before, where we WQ and wait for the Q animation to come down, we will still get the instance off, so let's try that again. 
Now, obviously, you want to be careful with this combo um, because of the dash here. You notice that we didn't get an extra bleed stack off. Um, but nonetheless, we can still input buffer. Uh, still input buffer all three after the animation cancel happens, but during the windup. So, um, if you want to get a surprise dash off, even though you'll miss an instance of damage, it'll better secure the heal from your Q. You can go WQ animation cancel, and you'll still be able to get the stride breaker off. Like I had mentioned, with Gale Force as well as Prowler's Claw, those are not advantageous for Darius to build, both stat-wise and in terms of the mechanics, because Gale Force, when activated, will lock Darius out of his abilities. And when it comes to Prowler's Claw, Prowler's Claw puts Darius too close to the enemy to make trying to get his uh, bleed stack off and his heal from his Q worth it, let alone the fact that it doesn't grant neither attack speed nor any defensive stats. Well, guys, that's all I have for you today. Since this is part two, if you're looking to pick up Darius or already looking to increase your knowledge with him, here is your update for the Season 11 items. Don't forget to check me out on Twitter, and for some awesome video game photography, don't forget to hit me up on Instagram. And as always, guys, thank you very much for watching, and we will see each other again tomorrow. Have a wonderful day.